From the moment I met Mikey, my new brother-in-law, I could feel how much he truly adores Lexi. I've seen it in the way <laughs> that he always goes to hold her hand, always. How he gazes at her when she tells a story. And how he always puts her first. Lexi and Mikey have the foundation for a successful marriage because at the core, you two are best friends. Lights are coming in, drowning all that I can see. It's a flood. Everything will be, everyone I'll ever see will smell on mud. Lexi and I first met five years ago when I began, a, began dating Christopher, her brother. I was really nervous to meet Lexi. We're only two months apart in age. I, being the hopeful that I am, wanted Lexi to like me more than anything, and I was hopeful that we would become friends. Fast forward five years, and Lexi is much more to me than just a sister-in-law. She is my best friend. <laughs> my voice of reason when I need it and my soul sister in her I have truly found a really lifelong friend and for that I'm truly grateful Mikey and Lexi or Likey which is your new relationship name <laughs> You've always showed unconditional love and support for one another, and it's really inspiring to me uh, to see that. You don't see that too often these days. Anymore. Mikey, we've experienced our dreams and our lows in the band days, and it's cool to see you at an all-time high right now. Despite that I'm alone, I would try to find my way back home. We really want to thank you all for joining us on this beautiful day and very special event, the Union of the Lives of Lexi and Mikey. We are gathered here today to witness as Michael Angelo Ramore and Alexis Audrey Rose join together in the sacred union of marriage. When we first met in the halls of Sickles High School, I knew even then that my life would be forever tethered to yours. That was over a decade ago, and since then our love has grown beyond all the bounds I thought possible. 
Our love is an endured distance and strengthened in the face of heartbreak and family mist. It has blossomed in our new life in a big city and has grown even stronger in our shared adventures and ambitions. Your love has made me more brave and I've learned so much from your capacity for caring, for compassion, and for empathy. I love you without inhibition and without conditions. You're my best friend, my partner, my champion, and I am yours. I vow to love you boldly, no matter what life imposes. I will love you and put faith in your love with all my heart. I vow to care for you, defend you, and stand with you in both success and failure. I vow to nourish your dreams and aspirations, for they're also mine. I will cherish your family, for they're also mine. I will strive to fo foster a home of equality, and I promise patience and understanding in all things. I vow to love you and take you as you are, knowing that what we have built and will build is far greater than any possible world apart. I choose you as my best life. Wherever that life takes you, I know you'll be by my side. Mikey, from the moment we met, I knew that you were the person I wanted to spend my life with. It's hard to explain how I knew you were my soulmate, but I never felt the need to question it. It's always been an understanding. It feels so fortunate to have found you early in life. The past nine years, we have grown together in more ways I could ever imagine. And I vow to continue growing with you, knowing we can never grow apart. I vow to be your partner for life. I promise to love and respect you and see your wants as needs and needs as equal to my own. I vow to be there for you in all things. I promise to comfort you and care for you, encourage you and support you. Wherever life takes you, know that I will be by your side. You have now professed your commitment and love for one another, not only in the eyes of all of us here as witness, but in the mind and the eyes of God. And now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may not kiss the bride. I just want to start out by pointing, this is the first thing that I've written in years that Mikey hasn't already proofread and edited. I am incredibly happy for you guys, and I'm excited that you can finally make the inevitable official. We have no map, we got no plans, just oh. Act of marriage itself creates a new family, and the family has been such an important part of Lexi and Mikey's life. So, Lexi and Mikey, the Rose, Ramore, Samper, Denti, Bauer, Pusateri, and Stodgy families welcome you, new branch, into our family. have a cheers to the high school sweethearts that are 10 years in the making. 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. F. Scott 
Fitzgerald once said, you are the finest, loveliest, most tender, and most beautiful person I've ever known. And even that is an understatement. These words can be more true than when we look at you both tonight. Let's raise our glasses for my new brother and sister, the new Mr. and Mrs. Remore. Say you 